guys, we're going on to the 4th of 19, I believe. Uh, we're in the 5th Minutes of War section of Control Flow in Ruby, so let's get started here. We'll be building uh, if-else statements that can produce different results. So uh, here we want to kind of look at what they have. And this is basically what we'll end up doing. So it looks like uh, just being printing, getting user info like we've been, being able to um, downcase it. And then this looks like if dot include question mark is asking if uh, the input includes an S. And then if it does, we're going to. Oh, okay, it makes. Alright, so if it does, we're going to G sub it into there. So. Uh, this means war. That's what it was supposed to say. Alright, and then we're going to output the user input. Alright, cool. Let's see. So, string, please. Uh, we'll just do this means war. Like, uh... Alright, so you see it works. Easy. Alright, guys. Um, so, it asks us to print for the user input. So, we print a regular statement. Then we declare our variable user underscore input and get start chomp and then we're going to save and submit it. This is user input, we'll just put my name, Dylan. So, alright, cool. Let's see. Next we want to call a downcase method on user input. So make sure that I include exclamation points to use the string is modified in place. Alright, so just save a little bit of time copy and pasting this in here. So we're going to say user input dot downcase exclamation point um, user input is Dylan and you can see that it got lowercase alright so all your time to add a little control flow so a string to check includes substring so this is going to evaluate if it includes something and let's see here so we're going to say if user underscore input dot includes include rather question mark and we're going to say d oh if it finds an s okay so direction say find s um for now print a string of your choice print There contains an S. All right, let's see here. So line five. Let's see. String, string dot include, so it's saying, oh, okay, yeah, don't forget the end statement. Alright, so we'll say, we'll do my middle name, because there's an S in it. Let's see, unidentified method dot include. Okay, and also make sure you put an N in there. So, little things. There you go. This contains an S, and then the good old nil. All right, so we want to remove the print statement. We're now going to use the G sub, and here we are going to put. Um, we're going to say user uh, underscore input input. We're going to look at the example real quick. Dot G sub. And it takes two parameters. Dot G sub exclamation point slash s slash. That's going to replace s in there, and then we want to replace it with a string of th. So we're going to put Christopher in here again, and you can see it replaced the s. Not only and it also downcase it from the previous example. Sorry. Next quick thing to see here: setting up the else branch. Alright, so 
then we're gonna go else. There are oops, we got print rather. Print are no S's. There is not a single S in here. That sounds a little better, sound a little weird. Um alright. So we're just gonna do Dylan this time, and you can see there's no S, so the else statement's working nice. Alright, returning the final string, the earth THT ring. Alright. Add a puts statement that alright. And then we're gonna puts this is my name, put space, and a comma. Oops. Actually, was it pound user? Let's see. Right. Pound user underscore input. Too much Java lately. I'm messing it up. I'll put a period here. And that should do it, I believe, this year. This is his name, Dylan. My name. This there are, there's not a single S in here, so prints this. This is my name, Dylan. Cool. Congratulations. It's gonna make me have a lisp again if I'm not careful. And additional if statement to reprompt the user. Alright, enough pondering for now. Click save to complete this project. Okay, so in here, just go over real quick what we gotta refresh real quick. Um gets a chomp, down case. How to uh, find out if there's a a letter in the string? Um, we can probably use that for integers as well. Um, L statements, and, and then we put it printed out. So we'll do it again. We'll do Dylan, and then we're gonna share again to encourage people to go to this great free site. And next up, what do we have to look forward to? It's gonna be a new section. Uh, loops and iterators. So we're going to be using the while loop. Um, that should be pretty, pretty cool. It's got a little bit of a longer section, so now we're going to slowly just be integrating everything we learned. So I'll cover that next time.